So, um, what? The uh, everything warranty stuff, and he said you have to sign like your name. Okay, so because they'll they'll have you sign the thing when you go in, and then when you pick. No the okay, so my father always taught me that safe is safe, and sorry is sorry. You can't be sorry if you're safe. Want to be sorry? Don't be safe. And I'm really, really thankful for like my father being the way he was with me because he taught me everything. When I say he told me, son, you can ask me any question. If I don't know the answer, I'm going to find out. I don't care how old you are. If you're old enough to want to know, then you should. My aunt and them thought that, that was crazy. You teaching your son too much. He's doing too much. Well, guess what? I know enough now, and I'm okay. And I'm supposed to be getting these groceries out of my car. Solomon wanted to do it, so I'm gonna go do it. Hold on, I'll be back. Says. <laughs> so he says, let's start from the first message I've sent him. All these phone calls, all these phone calls, missed call. Hey, I just connected. To, no, it says, "Hey, I just connected to a Wi-Fi. Phone was dead. Where you at? Just made it to Luby's. About to get a room where we were that night when you dropped me off with Pogo. And call, call. He didn't call. I kept calling him and didn't answer. Mm -hmm. So I said, so instead of getting a bus ticket home, you get a hotel room. And instead of giving me money and staying put so I can help you, you get a hotel room." So you can continue to hold hold and be back at the same position. Ain't nobody here going to save you. And you just hung up on me, so I guess you're okay for the rest of your life. Have a good one. And then I said, I'm scared I'm going to get a phone call saying something has happened to you. And can't you can obviously see that you don't have the best decision making skills. So instead of staying put and listening and actually needing help and getting the help with whatever you can get help with, you continue to run around, make the same mistakes that can be detrimental to your life and hurt the people that care about you. I hope you think about that while you're on this next opportunity that's going to end in the story as well as the last one did. It's sad because I came to save you twice and you weren't there either time. That's the shit that hurts. That's why I'm going to try to make myself just leave you alone. I'm tired of being hurt and disappointed. And I spoke to Solomon and he said that he thinks that we should get you a bus ticket home. I agree, but you're not even here for that. So I'm done for real, for real. This time I feel stupid for caring for someone who don't even care for themselves. And maybe after I pray, maybe after I cry, it'll all be over soon. But daddy's checking out. Love you always. Goodbye. And he says, I'm so scared, Brandon. I don't know who to trust anymore. Please understand me. Or try. I have failed myself, my child, my mother, and my family. And I say, then why not stop and let people help you who are actually trying to help you and shut the fuck up and follow directions? And he says, if I die, I fail God. I'm just scared. I can't even take the way you talk to me. So I'm ready to go. If he wanted to take me right now, I said, don't put all that on me. Every time you told me you need me, I stopped what I was doing and I was there. And these last two times, you weren't even there to receive my help. Because you think you got it or you found a different way, that's not cool. If you think you know, no. Like, if you think or if you know that I care about you, why not just listen to someone who cares about you? And fuck how I'm talking to you. Listen to my message. You can have those feelings about how I talk to you after we get finished getting you out of the situation. But at the moment, you need to listen and deal with that. On top of everything, you have a pretty stress-free lifestyle. 
So someone should take some slack out on you at some point. And he says, I could stop it. I wouldn't. I don't know what he meant by that. And I says, as much as I want to help you, I feel like trying to help you is going to is going to hurt me in some way, which I'm not about to let that happen. I've came too far and I've tried to be an example for you. And if you can't follow my lead or listen to my directions, you don't want to be helped. No more. Now, he didn't even read that last one. Oh, baby. But guess what? God's got a plan. And he don't need our help. Okay? He don't. Ooh, I found some money in my pants. 20, 35, 36, 37 dollars. Yeah. I know, but I forgot. I forgot that I had money in my pants. That's like finding money all over again. I just got paid. You're like, ooh, I found money in my pants. I be paying myself on the low. It's cool though. Put my change Okay. So, in conclusion, safe is safe. Sorry is sorry. And, um,. The Allstate jingle doesn't work for everybody at all situations. So you can sit back and think that you can do whatever the fuck you want. And you can just go, like a good neighbor, Brandon be there. But guess what? I'm still here. So anyway. Um, I keep looking at this bottle because I want to open this. I just want to drink this because it's gold. I love gold. I don't even know what it is or what it tastes like. And I bet you I wouldn't even care. I would just keep drinking it just because. It's giving me very ace of spade right now. But this is gold Moscato. It's called BP. Go whatever. You got off-brand shit too. But it's cute. Okay? Girl, whatever. Okay? So that's what I was saying. But... I am going to spend some time with someone who cares about me and who I care about. And we're going to make up for this day, wasting all this time trying to save hoes that don't want to be saved. Okay? Instead of trying to use what God gave you, instead of using the common sense that he also gave you. That ass may be fat right now. They may want it for the moment, but guess what, bitch? Don't nobody like a fat ass with a bad attitude and a lot of lip and no money. So what they would do is they would get you in a position where they could cook your ass back because your mouth's kind of slick. But what you're going to do is get them in a position where they feel like they got to get you back, and that's what they keep doing. And you're not even smart enough to shut the fuck up before you get on your shit. Nobody taking your... I ain't had nobody take my wallet or my a phone from me in forever because when I get mad, I, I'd be like... Bitch, fuck you and your mom and the hole you crawled out of. And bitch, how I smack everybody give a fuck about you with my phone and my wallet and my keys. Who gonna check? And I can do that. You can't do that. Stop doing that. But we're not even on that right now. Right now we are on this beautiful Saturday. It's been a hectic week. And I think me and Solomon deserve some peace. He looks pretty relaxed to me over there. Chillaxing. See that? Relaxed. He's tired from shopping and arguing with people about liquor prices. <laughs> I'm gonna solve that bit if we go across town like you got them up there, that bastard. Strange enough, but look at all of this liquor up here though. It's plenty liquor. But you know, bitch, we ain't finna get cheated for it either way. And even though we got all that liquor here, we gonna still go to the bar and buy some drinks. Okay? Fuck out my face. Uh, uh, uh. Throw it. And get it back now. But anyway. So, bye bye. You will see some pictures. Form, take a picture. Form, take a picture. Okay. And, um. If a bitch try me, I'm gonna beat her like she stole. Beat again!
Good night. Yes, this is my real teeth color too. You see, white must match your white. I got. Oh, I got a little razor bumps. I gotta stop using razors. I be trying to be looking fresh and young with these little razor bumps. And you see, I can get all close up on this, and I don't give a fuck about no. Uh, I mean, I, I happen to look pretty uh, okay, but I could care less about that most days. I care more about how I feel in my skin, not about how my skin looks to others. So my skin could have some bumps on it. got bumps galore. You see that? That right there? And that's the real, real. I could do that. You should do that. Be okay with it. It's okay. And so now I'm going to go drink a bottle of water. I hate that shit. That's what I'm going to do now. And I ain't going to see this right on the corner. I didn't think of it. But we'll get it in a minute. Give me a minute. We'll get it. And that was the main thing I was saying. It's about. okay, baby. We'll it. It's my responsibility. No, I should be getting it myself. I appreciate you thinking at least. And so it's okay. Got it. I didn't have it. I should put it on my Okay, if you're going to beat yourself up, you should just let me do it then. Nigga, what the fuck wrong with you? Why ain't y'all my shit? I told you before you left. What the fuck wrong with you? Stupid? You slow? You dumb? You need some help? There you go. Baby, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But I did get something. I hope it wasn't no chick 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 child support. Yeah, I got a can of that. A can of child support? Yeah. I hope I'm the child. Okay, well, you behind. Your payments. What's that? Gifts? Brandon Hotline. A phone. Just so I need another Brandon. phone. <laughs> it's the Brandon Hotline. Don't leave only time that phone. It's the bat phone. Yeah, that's it. That's the bat phone. It's, it's, it's so it's I it. ignore my phone. Sometimes I ignore the charging situation. So Alfred. this nigga got a house phone. <laughs> just so. Alfred calls Batman. He's the only one know how to use that phone. And this phone don't take a picture. <laughs> Okay, but I mean, I hope he understand I got to be here to answer the phone. But that's, you know, I get what he said because I don't do shit. I have no life. You see all these posts I got, bitch. And every time I try to make some friends or whatever, they too scared I'm going to talk about them like this. And I might, but you're sticking up your skin. Okay? Put your face in the ball. And beat it. Beat it, beat it, beat it like it's all. Okay? That's what you do. And I'm about to get up, get up out of here so we can leave. And I just want to say I love everybody. And excuse my harsh words, but somebody got to say it. I can be the voice of the of the young people. I'm going to say the shit you thinking and that you don't want to say because you're scared of repercussions. But I just already don't give a fuck. So, said it. Bye. I'm on my face. I'm on my face. I'm on my face. It's crazy.